Good morning everybody! Today is March, Wednesday 31st and today we have a nice 20 minutes AMRAP. I like this kind of workouts. The workout is for 20 minutes as many rounds as possible of 600 meters on the bike if you have an assault bike or a rogue eco bike then 15 Russian swings, 24 kilos for the men and 16 for the ladies and 10 hollow rocks. We're going to now see our three different groups. Upper body athletes. Today nothing really changes a lot. You can do the bike if you have one or you can use another machine. Just don't forget to convert the distance. You can do Russian swings with your sound arm and you can do hollow rocks. The only thing that comes to my mind is that performing hollow rocks with only one sound limb, in your case maybe one sound arm, well this can create a sort of imbalance. So let's pretend that your right arm is the sound limb. So your right arm will be straight behind you and you can fully extend both of your legs. This can create a sort of imbalance. So here's my suggestion. Right arm straight behind you, left leg straight pointing forward while the right leg will stay bent at your torso in a sort of a tuck position. So if uh, my sound arm is the left one then we have the opposite scenario. My right leg is pointing forward while my left leg is stuck at my chest and this will help a lot. So trust me you won't be shortchanged and of course have fun. Lower body athletes, you are my second group and good news for you as well. You can use the bike, you can use the rower, a skier, whatever machine you want, just don't forget to convert the distance. Regarding the Russian swings, we already talked about that in our last videos, so if you feel comfortable, go for it. Now, if you think about the holder rocks, I know that someone of you is training with a prosthesis and this makes a lot of, a lot of difference sorry, on where your amputation is. If you have an amputation at a knee level, it's gonna be pretty easy to lift that prosthesis from off the floor so you can perform hollow rocks. But if you have an amputation, let's say at the hip level, then lifting that leg, lifting the prosthesis, is gonna be pretty challenging. So here's what I suggest. You can do regular hollow pulses. You're gonna start from uh, a laying down position. So of course uh, the back is uh, on the floor and you're gonna wash the ceiling. Arms are straight and whenever you want, you're gonna do a pulse. A pulse means uh, that always keeping your lower back down, you're gonna lift uh, your shoulders and your arms regarding the upper body. If you talk about the lower body, you're gonna just lift your sound leg, always keeping your foot pointing forward, while the prosthesis will remain on the floor. 10 repetitions of hollow pulses and uh, you're gonna have fun. Seated athletes, you are my last but not least group. The first exercise, 600 meters on the bike, you can decide. You can use the bike. If you remember, we had Rachel showing us the movement, only arms. You can use the rower, our first video ever of Lynchpin Adaptive. You can use a skier. The distance remains the same, 600 meters on the bike and all the due conversions on the other machines. The Russian swings, 15 Russian swings, will be performed. You're gonna use two light kettlebells and you're gonna do 15 Russian swings. Regarding the hollow rocks, I want to challenge you with a great core exercise. So you can use two weights, could be two kettlebells or two dumbbells, and you're gonna do 20 seconds of front rack hold. So let's pretend you use two kettlebells. You're gonna stay here. I want both of your thumbs touching your chest and uh, your elbows pointing lateral and down. I don't want your elbows here. This is definitely too easy and we're not challenging anything. So, 
this is the right position and keep your belly tight. If you are an athlete with a hip function, what I ask you is try to stay as straight as possible with your torso without leaning back on the seat of your chair. But if you are an athlete that has no hip function, it's okay, of course, to lean back on the seat of your chair. Just try to hold this position for 20 seconds and uh, you're not going to be shortchanged, of course. We're done for this week and uh, have fun for the rest of it and uh, talk to you next Wednesday. Bye!